Let's get down to business. You might ask, what is data mining? And what data mining is, is some guy goes in the game files of Smite that are on his computer from whatever last patch there was, or PTS, or whatever, and he digs around in them using uh, generally Unreal Developer Kit. And he finds stuff that isn't in the game yet, but will be in the game, sort of like tidbits, or how abilities work, or icons and then he posts it publicly and says hey look at this now over the course of Smite's history uh, data, data miners have been um, more what they have found has been more representative of actual content than it is now uh, early on um, data miners found stuff that was just never used you know like a character that got half made and they're like fuck it um, but about like Around the time of launch, data miners were able to find stuff that actually like was becoming characters, and eventually Hyrus buckled down, data miners were finding less and less, and I think the most egregious example of data miners pulling up shit that didn't mean anything was Medusa, who data miners found she had that it was going to be Medusa, and they found that she had stealth and execute, which she doesn't. At some point during development, I guess they wanted her to have stealth or an execute, but and and you can kind of see how it'd be like oh turns people to stone that's an execute sure um but you didn't end up having that so data miners put forward what they found and what they found was non-representative of the final product which sucks now what happened today was the tier 5 skin for um the odyssey was leaked uh through an error on high res's part it's still kind of data mining um it's it's not really data mining but like you had to open up the PTS early, and who the fuck opens up the PTS early? Who the fuck opens up the PTS before Hyrus Quest tweets out, okay, the PTS is ready, or Pon Pon, or whoever. And they found the Tier 5 Thor skin. I don't think they were supposed to. Um, I think the skin is cool in concept, but it looks like it's still a work in progress to me. I, I don't know, the hair doesn't look finished. But it's cool, whatever. Um, here's the thing. Data mining is a form of content creation. That's a little bit of a misnomer because you're not really creating content, you're more like finding content and then posting it online. But it's a form of content creation. The thing is, it's a form of content creation based on revealing something that someone else, revealing something that someone else was going to reveal before they reveal it. And that's kind of shitty because data miners cannot reveal content in a way that has the same production value as high res with their studio and their lights and their cameras and their scripts and their little cards that they throw and their overlays and shit. You cannot reveal it in the same way. It doesn't look as good. But regardless of that, whether or not you like data mining or you hate it, it's morally gray. It is something that is not done with consent from high res at the very like, the best you can argue is that Hires hasn't said, don't do this. Right? That's the best you can argue. It's morally gray. So don't fucking make money off of it. Don't put ads on your website. What the fuck? Shit, man. Shit. So yeah, that's the thing. Apparently there's a data mining website for Smite. I think it's Smite Data Mining or Data Mining Smite or whatever. They got a website of shit they data mine, which... Isn't that good? Hyrus has locked down most of their shit. They couldn't find Japan, the entire pantheon that Hyrus is going to introduce. Data miners didn't find it. They couldn't spoil shit. So why the fuck do they have them? What the fuck are they finding? Nothing, really. They're just finding shit that's, like, wrong or not meant to be released yet. And they're finding fucking icons that aren't the real gods. It's like a picture of Dick Cheney instead of Ravana or whatever. They don't find shit. They find incomplete voice packs. They find in-progress models and abilities that aren't finished yet and they post online and it just at best it's unreliable information it ruins hype it's shitty presentation it's misleading it makes people form opinions about things without they being presented the way that the artists and the owners of that information want it to be prevented which i think is shitty 
and they're trying to make money off of it. That's fucking garbage. But I think the biggest problem with data mining is the fact that, and I'm a person, I like spoilers, man. If I'm going to read a book and someone's right before me and they tell me some cool shit that happens in the plot, I'm down. That excites me. Because the thing about a spoiler, is someone talking to you about what happens in the new Star Wars movie or whatever, right? Is that their description is a different medium from the movie. So, I feel like it, it's, it's different. It, it creates this cognitive, like, thing where it can formulate interest because you're not actually seeing the real thing. Obviously, there are people who are, like, really bad at spoiling. There's this Snape, Snape killed Dumbledore guy, and that guy's just a dick. But, like, if if you don't mind spoilers and you have a conversation with someone who's seen something, they're like, oh, man, you, you're going to love the twist, or... Oh man, this thing happens with the car, and you gotta watch out for the color of the signs on the buses, because that means something later. Like, that's cool. Data mining doesn't do that. Data mining just says, here's a work in progress of something that hasn't been revealed yet. And then gets spread all over the place. And you can't fucking avoid it. People don't treat it like spoilers. And it's worse than spoilers. Spoilers can create interest. Data mining, it's just a shitty work in progress. I don't know, it sucks. But more, most importantly, I'm not saying that all data, data miners are pieces of shit. But trying to make money off of it, man, like, it's other people's content. There's nothing original or unique. There's, you can't, like, do journalism on data mining. Like, oh, hey, we found a Najah skin. Blah, 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 blah. There's no journalism. There's no artistry. It's just, it's, it's fucking... It's fucking reblogging. That's what it is. And this shit happens on Twitter all the time. It's actually a big problem with social media, like, in the current world, is that someone... Webcomics. Someone will post, like, a page from webcomic, and they won't attribute the original artist, and then that'll get retweeted. And so this webcomic goes around, it's really successful, but it's not attributed to the original artist. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like making money off of that. It's really shitty. Now, I don't think this guy's being malicious... It's just, what he's doing is shitty, and, like, he should stop. He's not trying to be a jerk, but I think he is, being one. I don't want him to feel bad, I just want him to go away. and Not data mine. His data mining sucks, and it hasn't given us anything worth anything in advance in, like, a fucking year. If you're watching this on YouTube, what's up? Um, video is going to end soon. If you're watching on Twitch, we'll talk about it. If you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below on both Twitch and YouTube. Um, I'm still working on my next video. It'll come out sometime before Saturday. Probably tomorrow. Uh, and I'll see you guys then. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed. I want to know what you think about data mining. I obviously have very set opinions, but we can agree to disagree.